Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of Captain's Log. Today is May 24th, and if it's your first time here, I just want to say welcome. Today, I just want to bring you around the airplane and show you the different parts of an airplane. Now I'm done pre-flight, I'm going to walk around the airplane and kind of point out what part of the airplane is this and what it does. And I'm sorry I don't have my hat today, so you're going to have to deal with my messy hair. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed yet. No idea what it said. But let's start off in the cockpit. So we'll go with basic controls. This right here, our con main controller, is called the yoke. And this controls our ailerons, which helps us turn. And it controls our elevator, which gives us our pitch. So how we turn controls the ailerons like this. Boom and boom. And see when it turns the ailerons like that, our ailerons go up because it's on this side. And when we turn it the other way, it goes down. And then this side would be up, see that? So our yoke controls our ailerons. It also controls our stabilator. See if I pitch up like that, I'm not sure if you can see that. Boom. So it helps with our ailerons and our stabilator. Next on, we have our throttle. This controls our RPM, so basically helps with how fast we're going, and this is the mixture. What the mixture is, is the mixture of air and fuel, because when we go up higher, the air becomes less dense, so we'll net need less fuel. Because we'll need less fuel, we'll just lean out the mixture a little bit when we get higher. This is the pitot heat switch, can you see that? We turn this on when we get into you know, visible moisture or really cold conditions. We don't want our pitot mass to freeze up and our pitot mass gives us our airspeed, our altitude, and our vertical speed indicator. So let's go outside. I'll show you what everything else does. Oh, my instructor's here. And one more thing is, this is the flaps thing. So you pull the flaps, boom, and boom. That just helps with our flaps. You see, retracting flaps, or the flaps, and boom, just like that. So that's what our flaps does. I'll go outside and kind of show you what everything else is. All right, we're gonna walk around the plane and I'm gonna kind of show you the different parts right here. This is our flaps. I just showed you how to do our flaps. The flaps make us come in at a steeper angle when we're coming to land. And this right here is our aileron. This helps us turn. So you see when this comes up, the yoke over there, you can't see it, but moves that way. So that's what the ailerons, these are our lights. I showed you in our pre-flight video, very important to check that. Our fuel caps, make sure they're pointing straight. That means they're closed. Always make sure to check fuel because if you forget to check fuel and you're halfway in a flight, you realize you're low fuel, very bad. Pre-flight, very important, 91-103. Next up, we have our wheels. These are our wheels, our struts. We want to make sure there is good grip and there's no bald spots. That's also very important for landing. And right here, this is our nose cone of the airplane and our propeller. So our propeller is 76 inch Sisson inch. That's the brand of it. And our tires here, these are called oleo struts. We wanna make sure we have at least four fingers. That's good strut amount. These are oleo struts. And then we have the wing, just like the other wing we had. And then on this side, we have the ailerons and the flaps. So the main part of the airplane right here, this is called the fuselage. And if we go back here, this is called the empennage. So we have our vertical stabilator. This is called the vertical stabilator. And down here is the horizontal stabilator. And with the horizontal stabilator, like I showed you last time, we have the very important bolt. If you can see it in there, it's called the Jesus bolt. You might be wondering why it's called the Jesus bolt. It's called the Jesus bolt because if that bolt is not there and you take off, you'll die and see Jesus. That's what I've been told. That's called the Jesus bolt. So that's basically the whole walk around and different parts of the airplane. If you guys like this video, be sure to smash that like button. And if you're not yet already, go and hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions for me, be sure to leave it down in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Michael, shoot out. Bye.